Truth is not what you want it to be, it is what it is, and you must bend to its power or live a lie. The purpose of today's training is to defeat yesterday's understanding. It may seem difficult at first, but everything is difficult at first. Anger. Control your anger. If you hold anger toward others, they have control over you. Your opponent can dominate and defeat you if you allow him to get you irritated. To win any battle, you must fight as if you are already dead. Fixation is the way to death. Fluidity is the way to life. The path that leads to truth is littered with the bodies of the ignorant. No fear, no hesitation, no surprise, no doubt. Determine that today you will overcome yourself of the day before, tomorrow you will win over those of lesser skill, and later you will win over those of greater skill. You must understand that there is more than one path to the top of the mountain. A man cannot understand the art he is studying if he only looks for the end result without taking the time to delve deeply into the reasoning of the study. In time, all things work to your advantage when you pursue them with an open heart. True warriors are fierce because their training is fierce. Think lightly of yourself and deeply of the world. Do not let the body be dragged along by mind nor the mind be dragged along by the body. Step by step walk the thousand mile road. You can only fight the way you practice. The ultimate aim of martial arts is not having to use them. Accept everything just the way it is. Do not waste time idling or thinking after you have set your goals. Too much is the same as not enough. It is difficult to understand the universe if you only study one planet. The important thing in strategy is to suppress the enemy's useful actions but allow his useless actions. If you know the way broadly you will see it in everything. In battle, if you make your opponent flinch, you have already won. Whatever your determination or willpower, it is foolish to try to change the nature of things. Things work the way they do because that is the way of things. A warrior has no confusion in his mind. This is true emptiness. Perceive that which cannot be seen with the eye. If the enemy thinks of the mountains, attack like the sea, and if he thinks of the sea, attack like the mountains. Do not think dishonestly. Distinguish between gain and loss in worldly matters. Develop intuitive judgment and understanding for everything. Perceive those things which cannot be seen. Pay attention even to trifles. Do nothing which is of no use. Imitation is the surest form of flattery and failure. I am not interested with your talk about my ideas. I am more interested in your applying them to your life. If you do not, then you are essentially not in accord with your own mind. All men are the same except for their belief in their own selves, regardless of what others may think of them. The only reason a warrior is alive is to fight, and the only reason a warrior fights is to win. The primary thing when you take a sword in your hands is your intention to cut the enemy, whatever the means. Whenever you parry, hit, spring, strike or touch the enemy's cutting sword, you must cut the enemy in the same movement. It is essential to attain this. If you think only of hitting, springing, striking or touching the enemy, you will not be able actually to cut him.
The true science of martial arts means practicing them in such a way that they will be useful at any time, and to teach them in such a way that they will be useful in all things. Even if you strive diligently on your chosen path day after day, if your heart is not in accord with it, then even if you think you are on a good path, from the point of view of the straight and true, this is not a genuine path. If you do not pursue a genuine path to its consummation, then a little bit of crookedness in the mind will later turn into a major warp. Reflect on this. Aspire to be like Mount Fuji, with such a broad and solid foundation that the strongest earthquake cannot move you, and so tall that the greatest enterprises of common men seem insignificant from your lofty perspective. With your mind as high as Mount Fuji you can see all things clearly and you can see all the forces that shape events, not just the things happening near to you. If you wish to control others you must first control yourself. Do nothing which is of no use. From one thing, no ten thousand things. When you decide to attack, keep calm and dash in quickly, for stalling the enemy. Attack with a feeling of constantly crushing the enemy, from first to last. A bullet from a gun does not make a distinction between practice and combat. You are training to be one and the same way in your life. When you have attained the way of strategy there will be nothing that you cannot understand. You will see the way in everything. As far as I'm concerned, I regret nothing. You should not have a favorite weapon. To become over familiar with one weapon is as much a fault as not knowing it sufficiently well. Develop intuitive judgment and understanding for everything. There is timing in everything. Timing in strategy cannot be mastered without a great deal of practice. You win battles by knowing the enemy's timing and using a timing which the enemy does not expect. Approach the enemy with the attitude of defeating him without delay. Even if a man has no natural ability, he can be a warrior. If you do not control the enemy, the enemy will control you. In strategy your spiritual bearing must not be any different from normal. Both in fighting and in everyday life you should be determined though calm. Meet the situation without tenseness yet not recklessly, your spirit settled yet unbiased. People in this world look at things mistakenly and think that what they do not understand must be the void. This is not the true void. It is bewilderment. Get beyond love and grief, exist for the good of man. See to it that you temper yourself with 1000 days of practice and refine yourself with 10,000 days of training. Polish your wisdom, learn public justice, distinguish between good and evil, study the ways of different arts one by one. Do not let your opponent see your spirit. The way is in training. Do nothing which is not of value. Do not act following customary beliefs. If you fail to take advantage of your enemy's collapse, they may recover. Perception is strong and sight weak. In strategy it is important to see distant things as if they were close and to take a distanced view of close things. Water adopts the shape of its receptacle, it is sometimes a trickle and sometimes a wild sea. Unless you really understand others, you can hardly attain your own self-understanding. Also, by training you will be able to freely control your own body, conquer men with your body, and with sufficient training you will be able to beat ten men with your spirit.
When you have reached this point, will it not mean that you are invincible? It is imperative to master the principles of the art of war and learn to be unmoved in mind even in the heat of the battle. In all forms of strategy, it is necessary to maintain the combat stance in everyday life and to make your everyday stance your combat stance. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.